test, test. You passed the test, George. Excellent. Let me get the screen sharing on. Chris Short, it's great to see you. Likewise, how are you? <laughs> Busy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how this looks for people here. How's that looking for folks? Look good. Resize it here. You're on your Linux box, right? Yeah. What do you need? Um, so it looks like it's sharing part of the dock. Yeah, half the screen. Yeah. yeah. It's like part of the browser window it's sharing. When... Yeah. Uh... How about this? There we go. Same thing. All right, oh. all right. You found well, new ways to I... break things. Well done. I did practice ahead of time. I'm... No, no, no. This is this yeah, is yeah. like this is why like Zoom is a wonderful and and, and like arcane art, and we we practice periodically. So yeah, let's get, go ahead and get the uh, slides up and running and all of that. Thank you for sharing the deck, and uh, we'll give people sure. a few months coming on in. Uh, is it this? No. Scroll down. It's under the agenda. Yeah, agenda notes. There you go. That ah, slides. thank you very much. Okay, yep. nope. How's that? rock and roll. Yeah. Neat, neat, neat. All right, how's that look? You are ready to rock. Woohoo. Emily, we've got 20 folks in here. We'll give a few more minutes for like uh, you know, people to come on in, but whenever you want to rock and roll. Let's let's wait another minute. I know some folks had meetings that were probably running over. I mean, I certainly looked up and was like, oh, that email that I was writing, I should stop writing that. Yes. Uh. <laughs> yes, I, I had the same thing of like, I love this, but I have to run. Like, oh, look, oh, look at the time. Oh, my, oh, my. Mm. Yes, yes. I hope to see as many of you as possible at the Project Pavilion if you're going to Paris. Got caffeine. I hear we have the best lounge area in the entire conference center. There's a lot more projects that signed up for the Project Pavilion too, which is going to be very exciting. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hello, everyone. Today is March 5th, 2024, and you have arrived at the CNCF TOC meeting. It is the first uh, Monday of the month, so we are starting off with our technical advisory group discussion. Uh, next slide, please. As a Reminder, um, your participation in these meetings means your compliance with the Linux Foundation's antitrust policy notice. If you are unfamiliar with it, the URL is on the slide. Next, please review. If you have any questions, reach out to CNCF. And you've made it here. Logistics on the slide. Next slide. Um, we have several TOC members present here today, um, but we are not going to be doing any decision making. Uh, George, it looks like you've got another window on top of this slide deck that's covering some of the content, or at least cutting it off. Oh, no. All right. Hopefully, we don't have long sentences on the next slides if we can't figure it out. I, I think we'll be okay, and if we can't, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll think of something. Okay. Go right ahead. Um. All right. So a few updates from the TOC offsite is on the agenda for today, but most of the discussion is going to be on uh, TOC and TAG chairs meeting for KubeCon. So let's go to the next slide. Um, first off, we have a new TOC member. Um, 
Davinum, oh, sorry, Dims is joining us again, formerly from the TOC. Uh, we also, during the TOC offsite, decided that we need to have a vice chair position to help offload um, some of the work that the chair is currently tackling. Um, first, we needed to document what the work was that the, the chair was doing. We've done that. Now we've decided to break out the work um, for a more equitable distribution amongst all of the TOC members. So we're hoping in 2024, this will be a huge change and will help us moving forward. George, we've got some weird screen sharing going on again. Okay. I've clearly failed at this. Blame Linux. Yeah, Linux has failed you. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> this was test uh working earlier. Uh can you give me a sec here? Yeah, of course. I can talk all day <laughs> if needed. <laughs> Um, so while we're working on slides, a few of the updates um, from the TOC offsite, uh, we onboarded all of our new members. So for those of you that aren't familiar with it, um, the TOC merged in significant changes to our repo that uh, articulate what the expectations of being a TOC member are from a time commitment perspective, as well as a little bit more detail on how we operate and what the expectations for how we operate work. Um, that was very informative for new and existing TOC members to establish a little bit more consistency amongst ourselves. Um, we also had some engaging discussions on project acceptance and scope, trying to document some previous TOC decisions on precedent setting for technology and the definition around what is cloud native. We're hoping that this will help us moving forward in reviewing sandbox applications as well as engaging with projects. Um, we also talked about what the next steps for the TOC post KubeCon are to include the project backlog and the next topic of discussion for today's meeting. Um, we are we have an open PR right now that has undergone TOC voting for uh, changes to the moving levels process as a result of the recommendations from the moving levels task force. So a huge thank you to all of those individuals that participated in that work. We're getting really close to getting those changes merged in um, with a new process and what the impact is to projects. We're hoping it's positive and hopefully make this process significantly faster and clear our queue. Uh, okay. So next slide is supposed to be talk and tag chairs meeting at KubeCon. So uh, what we want to do is on Wednesday, March 20th from 3 to 5.30 local time at KubeCon, um, we are having our talk and our tag chairs meeting. In the past, we've had several of these meetings. We've identified a lot of issues. We've talked about a lot of challenges and potential opportunities, but ultimately what ends up happening at these meetings is we walk away without an action plan. Um, so today, what I would like to do is try to get all of us on the same page for what we want to accomplish at the end of that meeting. So hopefully getting us to a point where we have an action plan for the future of what the tags look like, depending on what that is. I want us to be able to say, here's the corresponding issues where we have work. These are the individuals that are going to be assigned and set out what that direction and that roadmap is moving forward for the technical advisory groups. Okay, um, let me pause real quick. I know George is joining. Hopefully, we'll have better luck. I mean, as fast as I can. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. No worries. Um, so we have some open questions around this conversation. The TOC is not inclined to work in a vacuum. Our technical advisory groups have been around for a significant amount of time. They've been working in the ecosystem and we do rely on their expertise. So we wanna make sure that any suggestions, ideas, um, recommendations are with the uh, considerations from the technical advisory groups moving forward based off of changes within the ecosystem that we've seen. Um, so one of the questions we have is around tag health and a dashboard. We have an ongoing discussion on the TOC repo. What makes a sustainable tag? What are our most successful tags? Um, what are the characteristics of them? What do they look like? Um, we also want to know what the future of the tags are. We have a proposed tags concept that has existed on the TOC repo for a while. Um, but perhaps we need to revisit that and allow for proposals of new tags based off of interest and changes within the um, within the ecosystem and the community. We're on slide seven. That looking better? 
Yes, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Whatever you did was great because I was working over in the back channel to be able to wake up like the second screen sharing that, that I have. So, hooray. Cool. Yeah. Rock and roll. I um, no worries. Technology. If we can master it, we'll be winners. <laughs> um, so some of the items that the TOC is considering based off of the discussion that we had with the offsite was exploration groups. So we do get a lot of requests for, hey, can we set up a new tag in this technical area, but it's too new. It's like very emerging. It's a lot of exploration needs to be done to understand what the impact of that technical area is in the domain of cloud native and whether or not uh, cloud native technologies should be doing something in that space. Um, we see this with the AI working group is a really good example of this. However, what we want to understand is whether or not some of these exploration activities should be a little bit more time boxed and then provide recommendations back out to the TOC and the tags for next steps. Do we need a new group? Should this be a paper? Should this just be advice and guidance to projects? So things like that. Um, that was one of the areas we talked about. We also discussed technical review groups. Um, so this is slightly different than the reviews that for instance, uh, tag security does in a joint review or contributor strategy does in a governance review or the green reviews group from environmental sustainability. This is more about there is a project in an existing technical domain. We want to understand how the project fits within that technical domain. So like networking is a really good example. For a service mesh project, how is it operating? What is the comparative differences between the existing service mesh projects within the ecosystem? Um, what is the value differentiation for potential adopters if they're looking between this project or this project? Um, how can they discern what those differences are to pick the best one for them? As well as, is the project implementing cloud native engineering principles within that particular technical domain area? Um, so that's the technical review category that we kind of talked about. So I'm presenting all this information to you in hopes that we can go to the next slide and talk through a little bit more about what are possible changes, suggestions, recommendations, um, so that when we go to the TOC tag meeting at KubeCon, we have that action plan. What questions, what additional questions do we need to answer? So a few areas we talked about is Tag, deliver, tag app delivery based off of recommendations from the uh, technical leads as well as the chairs. There's a ton of work within that group that should probably be broken out um, because they're overburdened with the volume of work that they have. Um, tag network and tag storage. We've seen some shifts within the ecosystem and the emergence of platform engineering and more infrastructure oriented work where some of these functions are being grouped together. Does that make sense for us? It might not. Um, and do we need to have a tag developer experience that's separate from contributor strategy, developer experience focusing exclusively on onboarding um, developers into the cloud native ecosystem for projects, making it easier for developers when they approach a project to get started in contributing to it or implementing it within their existing applications, infrastructure, things like that. So I'm going to stop talking because I'm sure that there are a lot of individuals with a lot of opinions on this. Um, but I would like to remind everybody, the intent is not to make decisions today on any of these, but rather create a structure so that we can make decisions and have a direction at the meeting at KubeCon. Hey, Emily, um, would it be possible to share what, um, so the outcome of any of the discussions in the offsite was around um, the roles of the tags, because it's kind of hard to have a conversation about what to discuss if we don't know what we're supposed to be doing, or like if, if there any decisions were taken in that space. Mm -hmm. um, so we did not make any decisions in that space, and we did not do a Good job clarifying what some of the functions of tags were. Um, the three areas that we had immediately identified that tags are currently doing um, and we want them to continue doing is kind of that technical review. That was one function. The other function was kind of that prescriptive guidance. So a joint review, for instance, or a green reviews or governance review. And then that exploration kind of category, providing advice and recommendations, um, both to the TOC as well as adopters. So that's a little bit more of the education and awareness aspect of it. And then I'm gonna turn it over to Karina and then Aaron, Duffy and Chris. 
So plus one to Alex's comment. Um, and then also it would be good to identify whether um, we're going to have additional standardization across the tags, because that would really help with uh, some of the changes that you're talking about. Um, I was going to ask if what you were talking about for tag developer experience, whether that is an extension of the mentoring working group that came out of contributor strategy and whether you'd be pulling that out because that would be interesting. Um, plus one to a tag infrastructure. And then also I do have thoughts around what you were saying about tag app delivery and possibly um, new tags, but I know there's a lot of hands up so I can shelve that for right now and raise my hand again. So adding just a bit more color to the discussion at the offsite was remembering how these were even formed, right? I think that's really important. Like eight years ago, we had SIGs and we were rapidly trying to scale up the uh, TOC, which was even fewer people sat. I think it was only six people were on the TOC at that point. And the number of submissions coming in to the foundation for consideration were just like, we were buried, you know? And so at that point, we really relied on the SIGs at that point to be the subject matter experts to evaluate new technologies and provide recommendations to the TOC. I see people who've who've been around like me for for this whole time to like remember what that was. Then there was a shift to move to tags and, and to kind of lighten the load of the tags and responsibility of what we consider. Um, th there was just some very good constructive conversation at the offside of, do we need to take a step back? Do we need to reevaluate uh, what we think? Because when we formed the SIGs, we basically just said, who wants to do it? Go figure out how you're going to run it and write it all down. <laughs> and we just went because that that was the culture. Now that we've we've done that, and as a community, we figure out what doesn't work, what does work. We do want to formalize those responsibilities and how, what we believe, how the tags can help the TOC better scale and have, you know, really that's you are the right people who deal with the technology in and out. And and you know, we don't always have proper representation across the TOC. I think I've always said this for every single technology that we have coming in. And so we we really do need to create a better structure between um, the tags and the TOC, but this is a community. We're, we're not, the TOC isn't looking to be prescriptive and tell everyone, this is how you're gonna run your tags because they, they definitely have different cultures and personalities and things that work well and don't. But I do think some sort of semblance of at least roles and responsibilities that are the same across them makes a lot of sense and you know really provides an on-ramp for leadership um, and a sustaining continuity between the tags and the TOC, which we haven't had in the past. So that was our intention. That's that's why we wanna have this meeting face-to-face. -face. We wanna talk about it. Um, but as the CNCF and the TOC evolve, I feel like that's the only healthy path um, so this is to sustaining all of these things. It also is, you know, we need to reevaluate the things that are in our ecosystem if they still make sense. And that, that can't just be done by the few people that are on the TOC. We would need more help. So we're really going to be, I think, looking to have a better formal working relationship between the TOC and the tax. So I'll pause there. Thank you, Aaron. Buffy and then Chris. Yeah, I think um, I like I like this call to action. I think we have a good a good opportunity to get a lot of information from the people who are in this audience. The question is, how do they give it to us? So, should we create a shared document? Should we make this a survey? Should we open a GitHub discussion where these ideas can can be collated or put together in one place? Like, how do I? What should we do there? That's a really good question, and I don't have an answer for it because we we tried starting the discussion on GitHub, but it got a little bit derailed um, with a lot of other topics. So I want to make sure that we're a little bit more constructive here. Um, I'm open maybe to suggestions. A maybe a survey is the right thing. Just basically frame the question in a survey and then leave open, leave open space for people to give their ideas. And then we can kind of spend some time collecting and parsing them before the, before the event. Okay. I like that idea. 
Um, so that's something that the TOC can take an action item on is to put together a survey with a few questions, um, try to keep it simple, but open ended for anybody to provide their opinions in a manner that is, um, allows them to speak freely. Um, so we can certainly do that. Chris. You are very muted. Yes. You're, you're so <laughs> muted. I am so muted. I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. Come on back in. I'm trying, Come on back in. I'm trying not to have my snarky comments come across. Anyway, um, if we're talking about tag developer experience and tag contributor strategy, like a huge plus one to what Aaron said about like maybe it's time to reevaluate what we have. As someone I know personally, like, like myself, I've struggled with working in the tags, right? Like it's been hard for me to find my way and get footing and all, you know, it's just, it's nebulous as it is. And I think if we just keep adding and combining or splitting, it's just going to get more nebulous. And maybe there it is, it is time for a wholesale review of kind of like, are we getting what we need from this? Do we have the right structure in place? And we're close, obviously. Um, but anytime you start talking about two tags with potentially conflicting like uh you know purposes like developer experience and contributor strategy it, like that just raises a red flag for me in sense of like organization overall thank you chris alex i'm a little confused i I, th I thought we had a discussion in GitHub. We had a discussion in the TSC meeting before we do offsite. And I, I was kind of, to be honest, really hopeful that today we would have like a grand reveal where the TSC would say, we think these five things are what the tags should focus on because these are the things we need help with. Because let's all remember, the whole point of the tags was to help the TSC scale. So the TOC kind of does need to say, these are the things we need help with. Once we have that, then all of these other changes and ideas are up for discussion. But before we have that, how, how can we contemplate whether to split tags, create new tags, or combine tags if we don't actually know what we want out of the tags? I mean, surely we need to start with, these are the five things or the 10 things or whatever we want the tags to do. And by the way, this is how we're going to engage with them. Because the, the, the ambiguity that, that, that I think um, Chris just mentioned is because we, we, we're lacking, well, the formality, right? So, you know, we don't have a formal way of, say, TOC liaisons to engage with the tags in, a, in, a, in any sort of structured way. It's all kind of very ad hoc, you know? And I, I'm looking at the GitHub issue around how do we collect metrics on the tags, and I'm like, well, what do you want to collect? For what reason? For what audience? And wouldn't the TOC know this if the TOC liaisons actually spoke to the tag chairs every once in a while anyway? It, it, I'm, I'm, I'm a little stuck. I don't know where to go from here because we, we kind of need somebody to say, this is what we need from the tags and then we can do all the rest. So I, I'm worried the way we're communicating is ineffective, Alex. Because I do think that's, we, I think before we went to the TOC offsite, we're not changing anything we're saying. We're just emphasizing that is where we got. If, if the tags, we, we, I don't feel like we had the complete feedback from all of the tags in the community though, of what that should look like. If, if there's a preference to just be more top down and say, this is exactly what we want from the tags and this is how this is going to work it doesn't feel very community oriented. And that's where we wanted the possibility of having this face-to-face -face at KubeCon to solidify what the plan is. But the overall intention of what we're doing is 100% consistency, scaling, and also does it make sense? Like do the current tags we have make sense? It, it Does it make more sense to actually go back and maybe have some tags combined? Um, or have some tags that we archive or have new tags. Like it's, it's just also a point in time where 
given where technology is going, do these things still make sense? So what we don't want to do is say, the structure we came up with eight years ago still makes sense. And we're going to keep going on that road. And now all of you are responsible for the same things, even if those don't make sense, because that isn't the areas that we're growing in the cloud native ecosystem anymore. And so that is what is different that came out of that is, do we need to take a step back, make sure that the tags we have are effective and are healthy before we go, you know, putting more requirements on these tags that may not be able to deliver it because there, there's varying, uh, not all tags are efficient or have good attendance or have healthy communities behind them right now. Let's just be honest, right? And and what can we do to help? Like, is it just not something we should have a tag for because it's not really the focus? We don't have a lot going on there or, or do we need new leadership or do we need more structure? Like we're just, we're trying to open it up to all of you who, who lead the tags and not be overly prescriptive. And I don't feel like that's changed from the overall intention of where we want to get to. So, so a quick, we... uh, a, a quick, rep a quick reply to that. I, I, I completely get that. And I'm not here to kind of be prescribe how the community works. That's clearly not what we want to do. But on the flip side, the TOC has a fun has a set of functions that the TOC needs to do. You know, whether it's project reviews or you know, make certain classes of decisions and they have a role. And the tags are there initially and supposedly now to help the TOC scale. So there is a certain part of what the tags should be doing that needs to be defined by the TOC because the TOC needs to be able to scale its role. So if there are certain things that the TOC needs help with, whether it's project reviews, whether it's information on particular things, whether it's, you know, working with the community, like in the, in the contributor strategy or whatever, then those are the things that talk needs the tags to do. And it should be perfectly fine to say the talk needs the tags to do those things because they need that to happen in order to scale perhaps. Right. I don't think that that should be that controversial. Obviously, each of the tags have their own other things that they want that they want or need to do, whether it's to help with educational papers or facilitate working groups or build community or help projects in other ways and things like that. That's fine too. But I think we kind of need to start with formalizing what the TOC actually needs from the tags. Because it's kind of hard to say we want to measure the tags at how effective they're being. When you haven't actually told them what you want them to do or what you need them to do. And then, you know, somehow say, well, this isn't working by based on a measure that we haven't even defined. That that, that is frustrating for me. Perhaps we haven't really measured in a public way the fact that we have asked these questions and that we haven't really like felt the, a team lift in some of these areas. I think perhaps that's what you're not seeing. And what we're trying to do is come to a place where as a community, how do we address those things? How do we get buy-in on both sides before trying again? So, so go ahead. Go ahead, Aaron. I, I hear you, Alex. And, and this was not intended to like be, uh, to beat the tags over the head that they're not delivering on something that we've never communicated is expected of them. Like, I, I want to say that out loud. We just believe we can collectively be more effective and we can empower the tags more than we have. We, we've gone through kind of this interesting, like a lot of responsibility, a little responsibility, more responsibility, and we haven't written it down. So you're exactly right. We need to as a team, agree how we should move forward and how we should measure these things. I don't think that negates us from understanding if the tags today have good attendance. Like how, we sh how should we be measuring that that tag is healthy? We're not saying we're gonna eliminate it based on you know be this criteria that we've never published. That's, that's not at all our intention. We're just putting it out to the tags as to how can we help? How can we work better together create some criteria for health and consistency, 
know what's expected, what you expect from us and what we need to deliver, we need to be held accountable as well, right? But what is the best thing for the community as it has evolved from when these tags were created? I, I'm, I just want to make it clear that we're not, we're not judging the tags. We're not, you know, we're, we're asking like a call to action of how can we collaborate better? Are we doing the right things for the community with our current structure? And, and how do we make sure that those are set up for success? And so I, I'm hoping we can have a, a good dialogue around that and come by the end of KubeCon have a prescriptive set of things that both of us are going to do to to enable that. Karina? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you said Karina. Sorry, sorry. And did you say Marina or Karina? Karina. Um, so uh, looking at the comments too, I like Leo's comment about, you know, collecting you know, the bad and good from the tags that goes back to the survey. And then I I guess I'm concerned that we only have a short amount of time in Paris for this meeting. So as, and this is, it's two weeks away, essentially. So um, if we have a survey collect that prior and the questions, um, do we have... It would be great to identify other times during the week that maybe we can talk about it or even identify, you know, like the project's moving levels task force where there's a representative from each tag to kind of dive further into it and come out with the recommendations on one, what could be standardization across the tags to, you know, with the TOC, what the TOC is asking for, and then three, what the tags are asking for from the TOC. Um, so just putting that out there. Okay. I've got that noted. So I want to, I will read Bob's comment before I provide my statement. Um, Bob talked about uh, in Kubernetes, they have annual Ports. They've cut most of the metrics and such, basically falling back to asking the leads, what is it you want to highlight? What's working well? What areas need help? So those are the, those are kind of the same things that we do that we've turned over to the mailing list for our technical advisory groups. Um, and for those tags that haven't submitted those emails on the mailing list, I implore you to do so because that is something that the TOC can actually spend time responding to instead of like part of the challenge was we had you all doing presentations to us. I feel like that was a lot more work. It was a lot more expectations from you all to pull that information together than have somebody show up to the meeting and then talk about that. And if you're not involved in that particular effort, you might have a little difficulty speaking to those in depth if we have questions. Turning that over to a mailing list on the TOC, everybody on that mailing list can see what it is that you're working on. The links are embedded. They can go there. They can ask more questions. I've provided responses to some of those updates. And I, I think it engages in a meaningful conversation with the tags that way from a health perspective. Um, all that being said, what I have heard is the TOC has an obligation to provide the tags with a direction on what we're expecting you to perform. We've done that, but we have not had it documented yet. So we started that discussion at the offsite. We owe you a write-up of what that actually looks like. Heard. We will provide that in, um, probably as part of the survey so that everybody is receiving the same information. Um, and TOC members, if you have other ideas, please stop me, interrupt, drop them in the chat. Love to hear them. Um, so the TOC is going to define what a technical, a domain technical review from a tag actually looks like, because that's an expectation we have for tags to engage with projects is that you're engaging with them. It's not them showing up to a meeting and doing a presentation. Yay, look at this awesome project, have a nice day. It is a presentation to a tag about the project and the inner workings of the project and how it functions and the value add that it provides to the ecosystem and how it's different from other projects to adopters and identifying are there opportunities for improvements, features, fixes, those kinds of things that the project could benefit from to provide better appeal or to improve the sustainability of the project moving forward. Um, we're going to define kind of what it is that we mean when we talk about exploration groups. Do those exist within tags or not? Is this a separate area? Um, I believe we also talked about inviting the technical advisory board to have participation in those groups so we get end user involvement and feedback. I think that was one of the discussions from the offsite. Um, 
And then the will also define criteria reviews. So a joint review or a security audit or a governance review or green views, those kinds of things where we have moving levels criteria that correspond with a more in-depth and focused analysis of how the project is operating in a particular area. We can provide that. Um, one of the areas we also identified that tags perform as a function is providing education and awareness. So that that's expected. Now, what you all may not have known, or maybe you did, is that we had asked to CNCF to kind of do an audit of all the tag charters and all of the readmes on the tag repos and kind of just looking across all of the tags to understand that work. We've had those documents. Um, we've provided, provided some review and some analysis of it. But the intent is to offload the administrative kind of charter updates of what the deliverables are so that we can provide those as standard and consistent across all the tags. And then it allows us to focus with you all on the particular technical domain areas. So for Paris, we're going to put together the survey. We'll define what the technical domain reviews from a tag look like. What is an exploration group if we're going to pursue that as a recommendation? Um, and which domains have uh, moving levels kind of criteria reviews that need to be performed. Did I miss anything? Because I know, Karina, you're concerned about the timeliness before KubeCon to make sure that we have time to come up with an action plan. Heard, noted, I'm expecting groups to form out of the TOC tag meeting at KubeCon, similar to how we did the moving levels task force. We're not doing this in a vacuum, and we trust that all of our technical leads and chairs within this group have the interests of the domain at heart, and they want to see us being successful. Questions, comments, other ideas. Is this a good path? Does this make sense? I know that there are a lot of concerns and this is very nebulous, but we are trying to fix it and we are trying to do it in a collaborative way where we're all on board and on the same page. One maybe small comment. If we, ahead, want, Alex. if we want the community to scale, um, then it kind of probably goes hand in hand with how we want the TOC to scale. Um, so for example, you know, this and, and this might be a bad example, but it is something I've felt acutely in in a, in a storage tag, which is when we originally set up the tags in the six in the first place. There was an expectation that, you know, sandbox projects, for example, might present to a tag and they would engage in the community and we would get feedback. And that would be part of the recommendation that goes to the TOC as part of the sandbox process. And that kind of did create a community and people attended the tag meetings to learn about the projects and to find out about all of those things. Um, and of course, we developed a backlog because, you know, we always develop backlogs and we condensed it to the new process, which is which is sort of very focused on um, funneling everything through quick review sessions in the TOC. But that in itself removed like a huge opportunity for the communities to engage and the projects to talk to each other. Um, and I, I don't know if other tags have felt these sort of things, but the the very aspect of, you know, centralizing um, every aspect of decision making and not delegating anything out at all also stops the tags from or, or kind of creates the creates the circumstances that can lead to tags becoming unhealthy in itself yeah. or yeah and to, to resonate yeah to resonate with Alex's comments or, or sort of yeah renders that sort of neuters them a bit or renders them um depending upon how active some of their working groups might be, um, a portion of the value that they might offer is, you know, goes away in, in that moment. Um, yeah, the, there's been, so for my part, I think we, I th if memory serves, it's been a long time. I think they had like early working groups before we had SIGs and then we, renamed them to tags and and the, the pendulum is kind of as you would naturally expect we've 
and roles and responsibilities have shifted over time. And um, I have to admit, despite how the how many hours and hours and hours I've spent on this call in particular, or for over the years and years, which is wonderful. Like I, I give up other many other meetings to to come here to spend the time. Um, is uh, I'm 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 confused <laughs> as to uh, where's how we're supposed. Yeah, how it is that the tags do add some of that value. I think some of it right now is like a solicitation in general to create discussion and attract, help attract potential new projects and do some potential upfront evaluation about them um, to, to sometimes um, have a review, do, do that, not just a presentation, but what... Um, what was being expressed a moment ago about digging into the projects themselves, um, asking some of those more probing questions, helping prepare them for presentation and a quick summary to the TOC so that it's digestible and there's some amount of uh, sort of opinion written about it so that it could be there's some summarization points. Um, and, or, but a little bit of it's in flux in my mind in terms of, um, if that just happens at one level or, or all the levels, or um, there's some amount of convention that that certainly the um, tag network uh, follows, but I don't know that it's expressly in line with things that are written elsewhere. Actually, just having submitted a project for incubation proposal, oh man, this is like I'm kind of since since I think in the spirit of what I caught the second half of what Aaron was saying is is like hey we're we're in it with you guys. We're trying to figure out you, how do we do this thing? And, and we're at a particular point in, in the evolution of the TOC and the CNCF, but we're all. And so, of course, these things need to change over time. Um, just being on the submitter side of a project, I think all that is required is to create the proposal and submit it. And then from the project's perspective, that is sort of await further direction. But yeah, that's all. And maybe it's just me that's confused. Maybe I just been here too long. So I'm I you are not the only one that's confused, Lee. We've heard mm -hmm. that same feedback from maintainers. We are working on fixing that. Um, and providing guidance specifically to projects on expectations for what does it mean to move levels? What does that look like? Um, we don't have an answer for that one yet. It still needs to be written up. That content still needs to be provided. The TOC has in the outstanding PR that's um, just wrapped up voting kind of de details what the TOC expectations and guidelines for conducting due diligence on pro projects are. There's also an, an updated uh, process document to convey that to projects, but we have not captured um, where tags fit into that because we want to ensure that this discussion that we're having here is appropriately represented because what we don't want to do is we don't want to delegate a ton of work to the tags and have you all swamped and unable to deliver on. We want to make sure that you are set up for success in a way that is meaningful, that allows you autonomy in some of the engagements that you're having with projects where it's needed. Like if you find a project that's floundering and they're not being successful in a particular area, you should be able to engage with them. If you find opportunities for project A to engage and interact with project B, we want you to have those discussions and bring them together in a discussion. Dims. Hi, um, I was curious uh, about something that Alex and Lee both uh, voiced uh, briefly, which was, um delegation of authority right um like what is it what are a couple of examples that you can think of that we can delegate to the tags um that we are not doing today that will possibly help you know gather some momentum in participation from uh projects so two very obvious ones would be um to have recommendations from the tags around sandbox to get sandbox projects to engage in the tags more um and build the community that way because the sandbox project process at the moment 
doesn't allow them, doesn't provide them a venue to, to engage unless they actually want to. Um, and the other thing would be, for example, to get more actively involved in, say, working on the due diligence for an incubation or a graduation. You know, like, there, obviously, in all cases, the TOC has to be the, the decision maker, right? I'm, I'm not suggesting that we're, like, abdicating responsibility, but, but we can easily have liaisons working with tags to do those sort of roles together. And that also kind of creates then a, like a, a, a pipeline of, you know, knowledgeable candidates that can be, that can join the TOC in future. Okay, so it feels like sandbox and, um, you know, uh, proposals for moving levels um, kind of bypasses the tags is, is the feeling that I'm getting. Uh, Lee, did you have anything uh, else other than those two? Yeah, that was um, maybe another. So yeah, when, when that had occurred, it was sort of like, well, gosh, what, what would you say that you do here? <laughs> was the, maybe use an office space reference, a terrible one. And it was like, well, gosh, well, we've got an active, at least for Tag Network, it's like we have a pretty active um, working group. And uh, so in lieu of uh, Tag Network agenda items, we just reuse the same time to host the working group meeting. And part of the feedback, recent feedback was, you know, hey, to maybe not do that, to have to hold, to not use that time to, and so, so for lack of sandbox, you know, for lack of, um, so, so some of Tag Network's agenda has been nominal, minimal, you know, in part because it's like, well, I, okay, it's not, yeah. you know, so if you use something like what we use for code reviews, right? Like reviewers, approvers, the tags are the reviewers uh, for better or worse. And like, you know, and the uh, TOC are the approvers, so to say, right? So having that two levels of uh, things might be helpful, uh, I, sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Um... Okay. Any anybody else um, who has uh, an idea of uh, other than these specific uh, things that we talked about just now? So I want to make sure that we have that we're going to capture those in a data driven format. So I want to ask this question on the survey. Um, Absolutely. Like I'm mining for things to ask on the survey. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Got it. Um, so let's ask that one on the survey. What other questions um, would the tags like the opportunity to provide their perspective or recommendations forward on? I, I'm, I don't want to put anybody on the spot on expressing their opinions if they're uncomfortable doing that in this forum. I want to make sure that they have the opportunity to do so on the survey. But if there are other questions like, I don't know, how do we modify the due diligence process recommendations to be more enforcive and inclusive of tags? Like I'm looking over the PR right now in the DD uh, TOC guide and line 124, it talks about engaging tags, but it's all encouragement, not necessarily a formal requirement by the TOC to engage the tags. That's a simple change that we can do, but we need to define what that engagement looks like. Karina? Thank you. Um, so one thing is how do how do we as tags um, work together with the other tags? Um, I guess I'm not really articulating that well, but um, one thing we've been trying to do, at least with tag app delivery, is invite other tags if there's a project that is, you know, looks like it's cross tags. And thank you, Amy, for you know tagging different tags in the project applications. Um, so really, how can we do better in cross tag pollination? For example, the Connect RPC project, where you know because we have the API discussions, you know we talked about it in Tag App Delivery, and then they went to Tag Network. It makes sense being in Tag Network, but we're spending a lot of time where we could be more efficient, and then also have more um, cross tag communication and not just with the TOC, but cross tags ourselves. 
So how do we do better at that? And what are some ideas? I can think of like two off the top of my head. One is you can reuse the CNCF TOC mailing list for sure, right? Uh, for cross tag, um, tagging different people because most of the uh, tag chairs and technical leads are there. But going back to what Emily said a moment ago around safe space, uh, it feels like we need like a, a closed Slack channel where we can vent and voice and uh, rant and uh, do other things uh, uh, between uh, uh, you know all of us here, uh, both the TOC and the tags. That might be another option, Karina. But it's also a good question for the survey. What other questions should we include on the survey where folks have opinions or recommendations or insights that they want to share that will help inform um, a roadmap and direction for the TOC tag meeting at KubeCon? We should probably define um, anything that's non-standards in the tags, i.e. any non-standard functions that we currently use the tags to do. You know, like for example, tag security does security reviews or audits and contributor strategy has like some specific functions which are unique to them. Um, we should probably define what those are um, and make sure that that is part of the process with the TSC as well. So I want to make sure I got that one captured correctly, Alex. What are examples of standardized work that tags perform for projects that support the moving levels process? Or are you looking for what is non-standard work that the tags are occasionally pulled into? Or both? So, right. Sorry if I wasn't clear. I, I think there are a bunch of things that tags do across the board, right? Every tag has, has a similar mandate to help educate end users, to help the TLC members to maybe do review projects to um, uh, and, and things like that. And then there are special tasks like security audits, for example, which are, you know, a specific responsibility of tag security, for example. and and contribute to strategy and a couple of other tags might have very specific things that they're tasked to do, which are not, you know, generic um, things, which we should just capture because obviously we, we, we want to standardize the charters and things like that, but there are some obvious specifics that need to be captured. Got it. And also thanks, Bob for the services portion of that question. We won't use the term services because we don't have service level agreements, but point taken. Okay. We've got eight minutes left. Um, Kathy. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's a great point, you know. Um, um, Alice just said, uh, when we uh, drafted, you know, a document, what TOC expects from uh, the tax, and there could be some, you know, different specific tax, maybe have some, you know, specific uh, uh, work which they can help TOC. Um, so I think we, we need to call that out. Uh, another thing is um, when we draft that, that you know, what uh, TOC expects from tax, uh, we probably can also have a survey questions that are asked each tag chair all these so what they think each tag they think you know they can help TOC from their perspective right they think well, you know they, they think they can help and then we can collect that and then we work together on you know what TOC expects from tag I, I would like this not just come from TOC perspective but also you know it's a joint effort captured. 
I actually I have another one I want to come back to what Aaron said before. Um, I think you know the uh, as technologies evolve, um, the current you know the the tax setting currently we have uh, you know different tax right networking you know runtime, uh, app delivery, environmental you know observability etc. But th those were set up sometime I mean some years back. So as technologies evolve. We may need to think about it, you know, whether we need a new, a new tax or whether, you know, existing tax, you know, can be broken into, you know, several tax. I think this is a, also a very valid point which I raised uh, because we need to evolve with, uh, you know, as the technologies evolve. But of course, this one, we can also work together saying, you know, how we should, you know, um, we should do this in addition to how we should, you know, more standard uh, standardize the operations across tax right so that you know um, all the tax can be effective um, in the same way um, but in addition to that we may also think about you know how, how we should whether we should add new tax or, or should break up the existing tax into several tax mm -hmm. captured lynn uh, yeah, hi. I, I think the discussion here are really, really interesting. I apologize to some of you. I think I share a doc about charter working document about TAG, uh, which I think it's in the TOC private uh, repo or drive at the moment. Um, so for that document, I do think it would be extremely valuable for TOC to specify to Alex point. I think I think Lee also had similar points. Uh, what are the expectation? What are the goals for e for the tag in general? Not for each specific tag, right? For the, each specific tag, we are going to rely on the tag co-chair to come up with that. But I think it's extremely valuable as part of the charter doc for us to specify the roles and expectation and goals for each tag at the high level. Similar as uh, Emily, uh, the team, the TOC team recently went through our onboarding document for TOC new members. What are the expectations for TOC member? What are the expectations for the chair and the uh, vice chair for TOC, I feel like we probably need something for the tag as well. And uh, maybe the TOC can set the high level um, agreement and the uh, expectation. And then each tag maybe have their additional and more detailed um, onboarding and uh, roles and expectation to follow. And the other point I want to make is I, I think the discussion here is really interesting. Uh, it might be good to the, uh, allocate uh, one or two TOC member to lead and drive uh, the work uh, to get to closure because I feel like we can discuss for the entire day, but uh, you know, not uh, be able to drive this to a resolution if we don't have like a focus uh, point of contact. Yep, that actually leads me into the next question. Um, so TUC members on the call, I've been taking notes during this meeting, trying to capture some of the questions that need to be asked on the forum. Is there a TUC member that has time this week to put together a survey, um, working with Amy and LF to make sure that we've got the language correct and issued out onto a Google form? That way we can start collecting some of those responses. So Emily, I if you share your notes with me, I'd be happy to do it because I did it for the cloud native um, in the next decade survey. So, but I didn't take good notes so far. So, <laughs> okay. All right. So Lynn, uh, I will make sure that that document is shared with you um, and with Amy so that we can put together that survey. Let's try to get that out this week. Um, and then for the TOC tag meeting in Paris, um, is there a TOC member that is interested in co-leading the discussion to ensure that we get an outcome and that we have a roadmap and a strategy and we're hitting all those things? I don't want to put somebody on the spot to run the whole thing unless they are interested. 
happy to provide support. Duffy? We want to go. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Duffy. All right. Um, so with one minute not left, action items. Uh, I'm going to share the meeting notes talk with Lynn and Amy so that we can put together the survey, get that out this week. I'll also coordinate with Duffy on how we're going to be managing and executing our meeting during um, KubeCon to be the most effective and outcome oriented, including uh, consolidating and sharing the feedback out from the survey so that we can all have an informed decision um, and next steps coming out of Paris. Did I miss anything? Karina. I, I was going to type it in the chat, but um, I'm happy to volunteer to help, at least from the tag side, with what you just talked about. <laughs> so the agenda and everything like that. But Okay. All well. right. Thank you, Karina. I appreciate that. I'll make sure it's also shared with you, and then we can sync up offline on how, how to manage that. All right. Thank you everyone for your time today. I know that there are a lot of strongly held opinions and perspectives and I appreciate everyone sharing them either here or through the survey. So I'm going to thank you all in advance. Um, I'm hoping that after Paris, we will be excited around what's coming next for TAGS and for the TOC and for CNCF. All right, thank you everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.